high school head coach Jamie McDougall. Coach, if you'll introduce your two student athletes. Uh, this is senior Avery Rayleigh, and this is senior Lindsey Gooch. Coach, just your initial thoughts about uh, winning the state championship. Very excited and, and most proud. I mean, we came out and the first game was tight. We came out and just, you know, played lights out the second game and got it easy. Then things didn't go our way in the third game, and we kept our composure and regrouped and played very well in the fourth game. I'm very proud of them. Coach, your, your fourth state title, to, are they all kind of special and unique in their own way? Oh, yeah, yeah. This group, I, I'll say it again, it's the most hardworking group ever. I mean, they stayed up late in the hotel. We had that banquet room watching film. We we came Tuesday, and we practiced in here, and then we went to the practice gym. We had Wednesday to kill, we practiced two hours in a practice gym. And this morning, we went to the practice gym and practiced again. And here, and you never hear a grapher complain. They practice hard and do what, do what it takes. They deserve to win because they do what it takes. They put in the work. What were your kind of first thoughts when you found out it was going to be a rematch of 2020 with Crawford? Well, Crawford, Crawford is tough. Coach Coker watches his film, and he'll figure out a way to pick you apart. So that's what I told the girls. You know, our record is 15-1. We'll figure out a way to win. We just got to get on the court and see what they're doing to us, and we'll adjust and go from there. But, I mean, when you play Crawford, you're always in for a battle. For both uh, Aubrey and Lindsay, um, just kind of how do you describe your, you know, 51 and one senior campaign. How do you put that in the words? What you guys were able to do? It feels great because I mean we played so many 5A and 6A teams this season, and we've only had one loss, and that was to what 5A, I think. Six. It was six against six Willis, eight. and we'd already beat them once, so it just it feels great. It feels like we really worked our butts off, and we made it for a reason. Yeah, it's a really good feeling. Um, we're very young. There's only two seniors. The rest are very young underclassmen. Um, I'm just very proud of every single one of them because. Like Miss said, they work hard. Um, I really think that's what get, got us a 50 and one record because you can't get that unless you are willing to put the dedication and hard work in without griping and complaining. We don't like losing, so. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, uh, Coach Coker said that you guys make it really hard to score on, you know, I mean, how, how proud of uh, your defense are you? And just, I mean, is that I'm something? very proud. I mean, we, we got in the gym yesterday after we watched Crawford and then we, Went to the practice gym and, and tried every scenario. Like, here's what he's going to do. Here's what they're going to do. Be ready for this. Be ready for that. And, man, it paid off dividends today. They were ready. Um, and after we practiced that for two hours, we went to the film room at the hotel, watched some more. You know, and they took notes and paid attention, and they were ready for it today. We, I mean, he did what we thought he was going to do. Um, and, I mean, it got to us a few times, but for the most part, we, we were ready. Lindsay, you, you were freshman in 2020, the last time you guys won. Uh, what's your journey been like, you know, from, from freshman year to, to capping it off with another season? Yeah, okay, well, freshman year I was middle, and that was definitely a battle because it was kind of just, I had to fill the spot. There wasn't really another player to get that. Um, <laughs> kind of, I kind of was almost just a, like, space filler for freshman year, but um, Cadence Hoyle, she was the leader and captain on that team, and uh, I just looked up to her. She was my idol. I was like, I want to be like her when I grow up. Um, <laughs> and then our two in-between years, um, you know, we fought hard and we succumbed to Beckville and Leon, but um, this year I was like, it's all or nothing. So it feels really good to just know that, like, I can come from freshman year to this to just change the roles and just go out there and win. And to, to take home MVP honors, just, you know, what does that mean to you? Um, that's a really good feeling. Um, I couldn't do it with any, without any of my teammates, though. They they get the pass, get the set there. Um, without them, it wouldn't be possible. Coach, can we call this team of destiny now, considering what you all did in the regional final against Leon, the great matches, the head-to-head -head matchups with Leon? I mean, you could almost argue that's, you know, quite a state. Uh, level game in themselves and, and again down two sets to none 25 to 40 win set three you overcome six match points in set four win 33 31 and then come out and win 15 to four to, to get the state. I'm, I mean I can't tell you how proud of them I am it was, you know we were down I didn't realize it was six match points because I didn't want to relive that game <laughs> and watch it but they're never down and out. And like I said, they've been friends since they were toddlers in daycare. So they've grown up together and they're tight. So they're never gonna give up on each other. They're gonna play till the end. And they, that's what got us through the other day. Yeah. Do, do you feel like that match, I mean, you've done a lot of winning, but to go through something like that, 
I mean, got your ballot tested and ready to well, go. Well, we talked about that before we came, and I said, I don't want to ever live through it again, don't get me wrong. But it was so good for us. I mean, we, we learned that we could be two sets down and six match points or whatever down and come back. So that was a lesson we learned and we brought here. Because to be honest, I mean, on Wednesday, we Schulenberg was really good. And we didn't just play our best match. And if we, we knew if we didn't regroup and come back today and do better than we did on Tuesday, we weren't going to win. And somehow we get in the practice gym and they find a way. They regroup, came out battle, ready to battle today and did it again. Coach, what does this mean just for the town of Leon? Or, sorry, the town of Iola. The town of Iola, it means everything. I mean, you saw up there, that's more than our population probably in the bleachers. And all day long we've been reading on Facebook, you know, all the businesses, the whole county was bringing out for us today. And we're proud. I mean, we'll go home and celebrate with all of them because we're, we're proud. And Lindsay and Aubrey, just kind of what... what um, what do you kind of want to leave for, for the, the underclassmen and, you know, just as you, as you guys, you know, graduate, what do you want to kind of pass on and what them to know? Um, again, just determination. And if you don't give up, it's not over because each one of them, they have grit and just they're over there. <laughs> um, they, they have fight in them. Uh, last year there, there was a bunch of little freshmen and they s stepped it up from last year. Um, I'm very proud of them. I think if they keep that mentality up and, they can bring a lot home in the next couple of years. And these, these young ones, I just want to say, these young ones, I'll be sitting at home on Sunday afternoon, tr you know, trying to rest, and they're bringing, can I have your keys, can I have your keys? And they go to the gym constantly. I mean, they're a hard-working group. I mean, they're never going to, they never go halfway. They work all the time. Girls, real fast, um, what can you say about your coach and just how mm -hmm. she's really inspired you and helped you <laughs> this season? Okay, so, you know, Miss, <laughs> she, she has that composure of where when she does get upset, she's able to keep it, like, on the down low, stay calm, most of the time. But um, <laughs> um, she just has, like, a way and knowledge of volleyball, and it just, like, clicks with us. And um, she always finds a way. Like, in the practice gym yesterday, she brought up, I would say, five different defenses for us to run against Crawford to be able to beat them. Um, without that, I think we would have had a lot more trouble. So just, she has the mind of the game, and without it, I don't think we could do good. I feel like she's like, I don't know, like she does get mad, but she's also gonna sit there, she's gonna support you. Like she's, it doesn't matter how bad you're playing or how many times you've messed up, she's gonna sit there and try to encourage you to do better. She's not gonna sit there and yell at you sometimes. And you have, like, with her, I never have that feeling like, oh, if I mess up, she's gonna sub me out. Like, yeah. she believes in keeping the people in that are in because you don't wanna mess up the rotations, don't wanna mess up anything else. She's very big on mentality and fundamentals. And if we didn't have that, I don't think. Yeah, we, re we revert back to fundamentals. Like, That's what makes Every it day. Work. Yeah, like every time we feel like we're starting to get in a rut, it went back to fundamentals every time. Coach, the What's the resilience, the resiliency of this team like? And I know you got more numbers this year than you have in the past couple of years, but still not, not a very big team. Um, just what you guys have been able to accomplish, that, you know, despite. I wouldn't be able to have a team with nine people if they weren't totally dependable, smart, hardworking. And, and we started the season with two injuries. We had two injuries, so we played ten games with seven people. And we started the ten with, first ten games of the season with a Super 7. And that kind of with with – this one sitting out on our other outside hitter, it made other people step up and get the time. But when they came back, it's just, they're not gonna lose, you know? And when we revert back to fundamentals, I mean, we revert back to, you know, passing one-on-one some days because we can't pass very well. And, but they do, they work. Whatever I tell them to do, they'll do it. And they put in the hard work. And in games, sometimes in a huddle, we have to, back to fundamentals, you know, get your platform out, you know? But it pays off in games and it works. Congratulations, Congratulations. Thank you.